In this video, we are going to see practical examples of what is abstract class and why we use abstract classes in object-oriented programming. So let's create a class. I'm going to say this class is base class. So this is you defined a simply a simple class. And if I say here, well, let's create a function. I say public. And it is going to be a function, and I'm going to call this function display content. Just just normal name, display content. And inside this function, I'm going to say return one to three. So this is this function is going to return this value. We can print this value, right? So we can create this uh, and instantiate this function uh, class. We say here new base and dollar base all right now the dollar base can to call uh, display content simply as we want to see the output we should uh, do echo here because there we are digesting the return so if I go here and refresh we get a one two three now in case of abstract what happens is if i put a uh, keyword here abstract this makes this class abstract class now when you have an abstract class you cannot instantiate it the way we did here so we are going to get an error so let's see so I refresh here it says cannot instantiate abstract class so that's something you can do we, we can extend it but we can't uh, instantiate it. Now let's do this. I'm going to remove this. Now we have the simple class and the uh, error will be gone. Now if I go back and I create this method an abstract method. So let's see what happens. So I say abstract. Alright so when you have an abstract method inside a class it is going to make it is going to ask for this class to be abstract class as well. So uh, let's see here. So I go here and refresh. First error we get, it cannot have a body. So what I do, I simply go there. I remove the body of this function. And now it is going to tell us if the class has the abstract method. Class should be abstract as well. So let's see. So class contain one abstract method. Must therefore be declared abstract. So yeah, we need to call this class abstract and now. So you get the idea if you have an abstract method, you should not provide the body because it's not allowed and you can make the class abstract as well. So I put it there. Now we are going to get error again. I believe you already know it because we are instantiating it. So if I go here, refresh, so it says you cannot instantiate it. All right, we got it. We are not instantiating anymore. So what I do here, I'm going to extend this class. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to say class sub base, all right, extends base class. Simple. So now we are extending, inheriting this class, and uh, we have a child class, and we can instantiate this class because it's not an abstract class. So at this point, what is going to happen is like I'm going to create a function here so let's do that so I say here public function and it's going to be display some data all right simply calling a new function and this is going to return five six seven that's it and what I want to do I want to display this whatever it returns so uh, what do you think is going to happen well, we have an abstract class, an abstract method inside it, so we are extending that abstract class. So it is going to ask that, all right, you have extended me, like this base class, so use this function in your class. It is something you need to do. So let's see. So I go here, refresh, it says class contains one abstract method, must there be declared abstract here implement the remaining methods so it is asking to implement the remaining method so to do that we need to use this method inside it because we don't have the body here we are allowed to have the body here for this function so we again say here public 
yeah, function content and here I say return one two three all right so now we have this uh, function which is we uh, declared here without body but it is in included here now so if I go here it should be fine now we have five six seven so it's working fine so the condition is if you are extending an abstract class and that has an abstract method you need to use that method in your class now for example if we have another method let's call it public and that is going to be a function and I say display data this time simply and I'm returning six seven eight all right just a simple number now this is a function that we have and uh, what I do uh, we can use this function so what I do I remove the abstract methods all right so I remove this one I comment this one all right so we have abstract we are extending it and we have our own function inside the child class so if I go here and refresh we will not get any error let's say so I go refresh we, we are not getting any error the thing is because this function is not abstract so we don't we, we are not uh, liable we don't have to include this function inside the child class so that is something uh, only required when the abstract keyword is in front so if I add it here now things change now we need to add this function here and we are going to get the adder that function cannot have body because it is an abstract function so refresh it says cannot contain body so if I remove that then it is going to again need to tell us that uh, in implement that function so implement remaining methods so you get the idea so another question is why we use abstract classes so what I do here I'm going to uncomment this and I'm going to include this function so at least we get rid of this adder so display data I am just gonna pass here all right so if I go here uh, we get the output now let's assume a scenario so we have an abstract class so I call this abstract class uh, vehicle okay so it's going to be vehicle and it is going to extend it by few classes so here I'm going to remove this function so here I say extended by car and all right and then I, I'm just going to copy this and paste here and this is going to be uh, bus all right so now you can see that what we're doing here is that we have uh, we can command this one here so we have a class of vehicle and we call the car car has and bus both are vehicle but uh, what we have might have in the application where we're dealing with these two vehicles you might want to have few functions those are going to be common for both of these so let's assume what functions can be common so if I say here abstract uh, public function tires all right so we have a function tires now the tires function is going to be common because we have tires in both of these vehicles and we have same number of tires in both of these vehicles so we might want to do some operations according to the tire or maintenance of tires just to give you the example what exactly it is going to work like so we put a function here tires now we have to use this function in both of these classes so if you want to get some data regarding tires we can do that in both classes now there are going to be uh, some functions those are going to be totally different in both the classes like if I say here public function uh, seats maybe so you know cars only have five sitter or seven sitter so it's going to be return five 
and just like that I put in here and I don't know how many seats in the bus let's assume 50 so you can see the big difference here so in this case we might mod uh, operations but based on the vehicle itself so therefore the bus seats are different so code going to be different but when it comes about tires for both uh, the vehicle it is same so we can have a function uh, included we can have like this function needs to run it is something compulsory and uh, in the both classes and as well as this function so the bottom line is when you want to run any function in all the child classes so that can be a default function now in this case we have tires so we might want to do some functionality about the tires in all the vehicles so here like I have car class and bus class we might have 10 more classes so if I want to run this function in each of these classes I want to use it abstract so now if I extend the vehicle class I have I will have to use this function so that is a scenario uh, when you want to you can uh, you do this way and